Today on Fly Rod Chronicles, we're going to fish my home waters with Sir Nick Faldo. Nick Faldo is a famous golfer from England. I'm a country boy from West Virginia. In this show, you're going to see how fly fishing brings us together. Stick around. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. If you don't know who Nick Faldo is, he's a famous golfer. Sir Nick Faldo, he's from England. He's been knighted. I didn't even know what knighted meant. I had to go to the dictionary, look it up. But for us to hook up and go fly fishing, it was pretty cool. I was out at the Greenbrier for the, for the Classic, and I think it was Sunday morning, and Curtis pulled up in that great big van, and I saw all these trout on the side of the van. I thought, so I said, hey, I need to talk to you, because I've got a place here, and I, want, and I need to find the right fishing here around, uh, you know, around West Virginia or close to the Greenbrier. And uh, so he said, yeah, that's easy, we can do that. You know, in Fly Rock Chronicles, I'm the host of the show and I usually get guided. Not this time, Sir Nick Faldo rolls into town, my home waters, and I gotta play guide for him. So before Nick got here, I had to do what any fly fisherman would do. I had to go scout the water, make sure the fish was a little bit sore-lipped, but was still in the water waiting for Nick to get here. Seeing a riser. Big fish right there. It's kind of like bow hunting. Water's low, fish laying in there. You know when you're fishing in the hills of West Virginia in the fall and the water's down low and it's gin clear, you got to have the right buck. Collar matters, size matters, you've got to match that hatch or it's no game. Yeah, we're seeing some rises right up here so I think I'm gonna move up a little bit. Um, water looks a little faster, maybe some oxygen going on there. Upstream, here he goes. Oh, 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 oh man. Hey, took the bottom fly. Um, gosh, I, you know what? Oh, gosh, he's, want, he's wanting to be on TV. Look at that. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here he goes. He wants to be a TV star. He's singing to me. Ah, and he got off. Daggone. Man. I know, I know I'm trying to shrug it off and I'm, I'm trying to make it look like, well, my feelings are hurt. He got airborne, he made a little TV for us, but I don't know, that was awesome. You know, after you get a big fish on and you've been fighting him and you know that his teeth has hit that leader, hit that line, you always need to check that line retie your fly before you go back after the next one. Most people would call this scouting. I would call this uh, get a few fish in before Nick Faldo gets here. Right there, right there. Oh yeah, oh! <laughs> we got another TV star. Look at him, he is gone. That's a great fish. We figured out we got a little rusty spinner going on here. And that is what fooled this big rainbow. Oh man, head shaker. This this great fish. Great fish. I, I didn't realize. Oh! I didn't realize he was that good of a fish. Come on. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> he filled up a whole net. That there. 
That is a West Virginia rainbow right there, baby. In the mouth, pops it out. Rusty spinner, baby. Get this out. We're gonna hold on to that. Can't wait to show this fish off. That is an incredible, incredible fish. All marked up, collared up. Look at him. Beautiful, beautiful fish. He wants back in. He says, put me back. Save me for Sir Nick Faldo. Nick, welcome to wild, wonderful West Virginia, because you're gonna catch fish just like that tomorrow. Go on. We'll take a little break right here. Come back to Fly Rod Chronicles right after this. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We're at Harmon's Cottages in Cabins, West Virginia. So another incredible trip at Harmon's. Thanks for choosing Harmon's as that location again. That's that's easy. That's our home waters. Coming back to Harmon's, that's that's coming home. But you know, again, what what was so cool about this trip? Right here in Grant County, you got an airport. Yes. Sir Nick Faldo. I mean, he's been knighted. It's royalty. Chose to come here to wild, wonderful West Virginia and spend it at Harmon's. So he got on his jet and flew in to Grant County. Hey, how you doing? I didn't expect a royal visitor. <laughs> Good to see you. We got up here yesterday evening and had some uh, had some pretty good luck right before, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah before evening fall. Now, uh, have have you heard of Trout Unlimited? They, I'm not too sure. They're a, sound, yeah. it's a it's a nonprofit cold water fisheries that's uh -huh. nationwide, and they're uh -huh. about preservation, restoration of, of fisheries. Yeah. So there, it's a really good organization, uh -huh. and the vice president um, is, is going to be here with us. Cool. So, so yeah. he knows a lot about you know the fisheries and bugs and yeah. Where am I in West Virginia? Okay, the Greenbrier is down the bottom. Isn't look that? here, check this out. Does that look yeah. like the state? <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and not really, but yeah. Ben, you're you're here at Greenbrier, okay. right? Yeah. Yeah. Washington D.C. is over in yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. You're about right here. Oh, really? Is that all? Yeah. Just, oh. Yeah. Does that sound? Does that look oh, right? Oh, okay, really? Yeah. Yeah. So. So, but lots of mountains. As you can tell, Nick rolls a little different than me, a boy from West Virginia. But throughout this episode, you're going to see no matter how different people are, fly fishing can bring them together. We find the fish rising. So uh, Nick, as you can see here, we've got an assortment of rods. I mean, this is like this is like going golfing, right? So. I, so yeah, it's a four weight, it's a four iron. Uh, four iron, and we got a five iron, a six, a six iron. iron. We got yeah, a good... yeah. Brian, five iron, five iron. We're so, covered. So we're 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 like your fish caddies. Okay. I mean, now is it is it proper to like should we should we you know throw up and see which and way the, the winds, winds blow? No, I just want to see which way the fish is swimming. That's all. <laughs> that's all you care about. Yeah, that, would... Which way the fish are swimming, right? They're going that way. The water's bad. <laughs> that's all I need to know. Yeah. You know, Nick comes to my home waters, a place that I've fished for years, and he hooks up on his first cast. I must be a pretty good guy. Hey, Nick, this this is not the way this is supposed to work. What do you mean? If you, if you... Now, last night I had to work for my fish. Well, not a first. <laughs> so, I mean, did you, did you hit a hole in one the first time you golfed at age 13? Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what a great fish. First cast here in wild, wonderful West Virginia. Yeah. He... Oh, there he is. First cast, Nick. There you go. Hey. They call me first. That's why they call me first take Faldo. <laughs> first take Faldo. A pink spot scud, and you said Wisconsin? The Wisconsin pattern that I picked up up here. And Using a regular scud and then switching to those, you can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll hand that back to you. You'll take a look at that, Nick, because you're going to want to study that. Team of stats back. You want to? You want to release him? Oh yeah, yeah. Back yeah. into the. Uh, oh no, you let him go. I let him go. That's an honor. We should not be 
amazed that that, that you catch one the that's first pass. That's what I meant. Well, if I don't catch one for another hour, it's going to look embarrassing, isn't it? But <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for more Fly Rod Chronicles. <laughs> Coming up next, more Fly Rod Chronicles. <laughs> After the break, more Fly Rod Chronicles. <laughs> Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We are here fishing with Nick Faldo, world famous professional golfer. I know nothing about golf or England, and if it wasn't for fly fishing, we probably would have very little in common. That's one of the greatest things I've gained from fly fishing is the relationships with people I've made through the sport. So why do I like fly fishing? Well, you get engrossed in, in a fish. I mean, you either, he's either rising, you can catch him first cast, you put the, the perfect fly on, you catch him, or you get one that just keeps rising and he has a look at or he takes and misses it. Um, and the beauty is hopefully you still catch him, but maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes has gone by, you've tied six different flies on, and you finally caught that trout. And I think that's the cool bit that you get get totally engrossed into it. So obviously you can't be thinking for me, can't be thinking of golf or whatever whatever I'm up to. So um, that is what I really enjoy it. So um, and I love to just get in the river and and just be part of it. And there's two secrets. Just one you don't have to you don't wear a watch when you're fishing. Okay. So you don't know not clock watching. Right. And there he is. Look at him. <laughs> and that's the one I want. Okay, what's number two? Just for your fly caddy, get out of your way. Just be quiet and just shut up. Your, get out shut of up. Way. Shut up and let me catch a few. <laughs> I'm out of here. Good. Yeah. <laughs> when you think of it, there are a lot of similarities between fly fishing and golf. As you know, the golf swing is all about the tempo, timing. There's a transition from going back to going through, which is really important. And, and obviously, casting is the same. It's a game that tests the individual. It can bring tranquility or frustration. Go ahead and throw that while throw we that re rig here. While you're, while you're sorting that yeah, out, well. might as well. How's Curtis doing his fish caddy? Oh, they're slow, that's all I know. When I say four iron, and, or I want a towel or a ball, I usually get it, put my, <laughs> put my hand out. It's, but it's been a while since my last fly was tied. Alrighty. Yep, so you got well, what have I got you now? Got a stimmy, and this is what you caught that on earlier. Okay. It's got, all right. It should float for you. There's a fish or two in there. I like seeing him come up and bust that stimulator. Oh, that's a good fish, huh? I know. Look at him. Is he eating? No, I don't know what he's doing. Throw right in front of him, see what he does. But I'm waiting for him to sit still. Look at him. Oh yeah, he's he's. They're searching. Yeah. Well, there it is. Come on, sir. Yeah. Oh, on the stimmy. He come up and freaking popped right. it. That a boy. He come up and jacked the stimulator. Get him stimulated. <laughs> get him. Get him going. So. uh so is that, is that your golfing reflexes there? Yeah, it's the, huh? it's the speed, yeah. <laughs> the speed. <laughs> Fast twitch, Faldo. Uh, there you go. <laughs> there he is. Got there him. There you go. Good job. Oh, boy. Look how good he spins on. Yeah. Yeah. Still healthy. Yeah, he's solid, isn't he? And you look at the fins. It's time for this week's Trout Unlimited Release of the Week. Oh, that leaf, it's, that leaf, that was stage, what a look prop. Look I'm gonna hold it right here. Hang out between your boots. There you go, J Rod. Huh? Oh, is that a beauty? That's a good picture. That's a good picture. It's coming right out here, right between the boots. Still love those fins. <laughs> that is. Well, there's, way, there's loads in there, right? Give me another stimulator, <laughs> jeez. Okay, you know what? We're, let's look at that stimmy, make sure it's all right here. I like to rise my trout. Well, I was going for the big one. I eat the small one here, so there's a bigger one in there somewhere. 
there is a bigger one. Because a bigger one went, went up. Stick around when Fly Rod Chronicles comes back, we head upstream with Sir Nick Faldo, and later, I catch that big fish that they spotted. One more cast, one more cast, that's all I wanted. And look what it did, one more cast. I'm gonna face you upstream, brother. Look at that. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We are at Harmon's Cottages, fishing the North Fork of the South Branch of the Potomac River with golfing royalty, Sir Nick Faldo. Well, we're here at Harmon's North Fork Cottages, which is a really cool, cool spot. I mean, it's a nice bit of real country um, down on the river, underneath the canyon here, and some nice cottages and a good atmosphere. That's the most important thing. If you come here to fish, there's plenty of fish in the river, which is very important, but it's a good, it's a good fun spot. Oh, he was trying to impress me with his, with his game. He, he played a stroke from afar. All right, coming back at you. And it was deviated off the side of the mountain and landed right next to where I was trying to land a trite. Very unprofessional, very unsporting, and uh, bottom line, it was a lousy shot. Gee whiz. Hey, Curtis, at least you're improving. At least you hit planet Earth this time. Huh. You don't have to be a sociologist to understand the differences between Sir Nick and yours truly, but fly fishing brought us together. Eventually, Nick had to catch his plane, so I set him up a ride to the airport with our good buddy, Freddie Jr. Me? I had one last thing to take care of at Harmon's. I weighed her back up and headed straight to the canyon hole to go after the big fish we spotted there earlier. So there's a bigger one in there somewhere. Yeah, there's a, there is a bigger one. There's a bigger one went, went up. There's a bigger one went, went up. There's a big one went up. This time, I was feeling it. I scaled the rock wall. Tough on the waders, huh? And I got set up to have the perfect drift for that big rainbow. I'll try to stay low here. It hit the water. <laughs> we fished there as a wet fly, but I think it was a dry fly. He's hey, look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Hey, we don't even have to put the net on this guy. Little, little old rainbow filling it. Great gear. I'm filling it. I'm telling you. Oh, he's a good one. This is a good fish. Oh yeah. Right for dark. Yeah, fish of the night. Don't go over there. No, I don't want you over there. Get him back on the reel. Stay out of the fast water. Get over here. Doing a little balancing act over here on this rock. This is it, baby. I know I said one more fish, but this is it. Back over here, back over here. Come on, I'm gonna turn you back. Yes, I got him. He's a beast. Oh, there we go, that's 20 plus. It, it may be dark, but this is why you come to wild, wonderful West Virginia and Harmon's North Fork Cottage for big old rainbows just like that. One more cast, that's all I wanted. And look what it did. One more cast. I'm gonna face you upstream, brother. Look at that. I'm gonna show you one more time. Woo! Nick Faldo, welcome to America, brother. Right there's what she's all about. That's how you end it right there. Now let's hope we can get out of here. This trip to Harmon's was special. I got to hang out with the legendary golfer, Sir Nick Faldo. The whole time, I was wondering 
why he would want to spend a weekend with me. The answer is simple, fly fishing. Nothing more, nothing less. It is a powerful thing, this fly fishing, and people that gravitate to it find themselves in a woven tapestry of kinship with other fly fishermen, no matter how different they are. I've often pondered how a fish with a brain the size of a pea can keep people like doctors and lawyers stumped. And it's the same pursuit of a technique that will never be perfected. That keeps us all coming back and yearning for more. And that is something that all fly fishermen can relate to. I'm Curtis Fleming. Come back next week for more Fly Rod Chronicles. Wow, you know, boys, it's all in the cut, you think. Curtis Fowda.